Yeah. What's going on YouTubers? This is Jarrell Lamar. I'm giving you guys a tutorial on color grading since I've had such demand on it. Um, shout out to my subscribers and people who just watch my videos frequently um, and hit me up with questions in the comments section. Um, make sure you like, share, and subscribe these videos. Um, so let's get into it. No more further delay. I'm going to try to make this really quick. So this video in particular is called Rap Mood. This is by one of the artists I work with called Just Alex. Um, Just Alex is a very talented artist from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, me and him have done what, four videos together so far, more to come. And let's get into it. So pretty much I like the color grade on this. I'm going to drop this down to one fourth so we can actually watch the video without it skipping. Um, for some odd reason this is not rendered, which it's kind of weird because I thought I rendered everything. Anyway, so let's get into it. No further delay. This was the color grade. This is what it looks like without the color. This is what it looks like with the color. All right, see that? Huge difference, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to walk you through the process of how I color graded this portion right here. So I'm going to jump into my adjustment layer. If you don't know what an adjustment layer is, take the time out to actually figure out what it is and research on Premiere Pro. So you're going to go to New Item, click on Adjustment Layer, and then once that loads up, you're going to click OK. My timeline is 1920 by 1080, so it's 1080p filled in, filmed in there. Um, I'm going to drop this adjustment layer over my timeline. I drag it now a little bit further because I want to show you the rest of the video as well. So I'm going to double click on my adjustment layer. It's going to pop up this area right here where it says Effects Controls. Click on that. Then I'm going to go to Effects. Once you do that, you're going to click on Video Edits. All right, then you're going to click on Color Correction. Now I'm going to scroll down to Lumetri Color, double click Lumetri Color, and it applies to that adjustment layer right here. Now I'm going to jump over to Basic Correction. This is pretty much what you do to save the LUT. So, what the LUT does, I'm sorry, what the, uh, which, if you shoot in the log profile, it pretty much oversaturates, and not oversaturates, it lowers the saturation, makes it gives it a real grayscale. And, but this helps out your dynamic range and shows the shadows and the details in your uh, shadows back here in the blacks. Um, the GH4 V-Log is not as good as like, let's say the Sony or the C300 when it comes to saving the dynamic range, but it is good enough and it works. Um, you wouldn't even be able to tell, especially the way you color grade. So what this does, it just saves the, pretty much the overall V-Log and gives you a basic color correction. And this, what this is going to do is give you that look where okay it's a good video but what can you do to stylize your look so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I do here it is Adobe related files I have tons of LUTs so I got the C Ryan low light LUT which is actually the same as this LUT right here <laughs> um anyway then you got the, the LUTs I use which are gonna be right here I use the JLP LUTs a lot um, but this is one of my favorite right here so I'm gonna go to LUTs conversion I'm going to go to Cube. I don't know why it's Cube. I just know when I first learned, I always use Cube. Then I'm going to go to Utility. This is pretty much the basic color correction you want to put over here. You have the Alexa, Blackmagic, Canon, GoPro, the Red, the Sony, so on and so on. Uh, mine is Panasonic V-Log. You have the Center Like D as well if you don't have V-Log in your Panasonic GH4, but you might want to invest in that as well. So we're going to go to V-Log. And what I use is V2, but I'm going to show you what the V1 and V3 look like. So say we clicked on V1, and it's pretty cool. I just don't like how it is so saturated so far. Looks good though, not bad. V3, V3 doesn't look bad, it's just too greenish for me, so I'm gonna go to V2. V2 is the one I use for this video. Um, so, not too bad. So you always wanna understand the feel of the video. Is it a cold video, is it a warm video? Like, what is the feel of the song? So the song is pretty, pretty touching. I would give it a cool look, but um, it was so sunny outside and it was not warm, it was cold, it was windy, but it was still sunny outside. So I want to kind of increase the temperature on that. I'm probably increase it up to about 7, not too much. Um, then I want to put some contrast on there because, you know, it was a pretty, uh, it was, I do want to kind of give you that cinematic look. And that's what I'm, all I'm going to do right now. I'm probably going to lower the exposure to 1 for right now, sorry, 0.1. Not too much. Because um, if you do it too much, it's going to ruin your video, especially if you increase the exposure. That really will blow out everything. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Now I'm going to jump into my creative LUT. 
um, which is going to stylize my look. So you're going to see where I drop down creative. You're going to go to where it says look, click none, browse. Now you're going to jump into back into this area. You see where it says bonus, you click bonus. All right, I'm going to put a link for all these LUTs in the description as well, so don't worry about that. All right, my favorite one is Aspen. I always use Aspen. The log is cool, um, but I don't really like it too much. The standard is the normal one I normally use. So standard, and it stylizes my look. So this is what it looks like. Pretty similar to what I already have accomplished, but I want to add some faded film to it. And then I want to sharpen, sharpen mine, probably about eight, not too much, because I don't want to do it too much. Um, and then I want to lower my saturation some. All right. Now I'm going to jump back up to my style. I was looking, I'm going to crush my black some. Oops, sorry, crush them. I went the wrong way. So I'm going to crush them. Now it gives me more of a cinematic look. Um, and then if you look at this light right here, compare it to what it was before, how it was grayscale. And in the... Sorry. In the blacks, you see as when the light hits it, it gives it like a bluish tint. So it's actually pretty cool. That's why I like to stylize my looks. Because if you didn't stylize your look, say you did... Oh, well, it won't let me turn it off. Let's just say I did none. Didn't stylize my look. You see the difference right there? That makes a huge difference when you stylize your look and you get that feel. Um, I could probably increase the saturation. That might make it look a little bit better. Um, so... That is what I did for this video. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions, you can definitely send me an email. I'll put that in the description below as well. But that's all I really did for this video. Um, pretty straightforward. And I, I actually, at the end of the video, I'll put a link for the video below. Of course, I did a different LUT for this scene right here. But that's it. Um, if you liked what you saw, if you want me to do more, I probably won't, but I mean, you probably can convince me to do it. Like, share, subscribe, and check out the rest of my videos. Alright, man, you guys take it easy. Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying just to get to this bread. Hold up, wait, cause it ain't never game over. I sound like Drake and it's far from over.